This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. So I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, New York Community Bank that just got a billion dollar inflow from Citadel and their other homies is struggling to stay afloat, okay? They're struggling to stay afloat, and they're not the only bank hanging on by their fingernails. I tell you guys, when it comes to the big banks, I think Citigroup is gone, okay? Or they'll have to be absorbed by another bank in order to survive. But, but, but here's the thing. New York Community Bank is paying the highest interest rate. They're paying... 5.5% interest to get you to, to deposit your money with this bank. Now, whether you choose to do so or not, that's on you. But when a bank who we know is having financial difficulties, who needed a billion dollar influx, and obviously to offer this type of interest rate, they are still dying for cash they are still having liquidity issues anybody putting their money in this bank maybe they don't like their money the bottom line is this based on everything that i'm seeing with new york community bank they are a step away from bankruptcy or insolvency based on the numbers and the fact that they got a billion dollars from Citadel and some other investors makes me wonder if they're not partners in other endeavors. Could they be naked shorting AMC? I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Could they be naked shorting, naked shorting GME? I'm not sure. I didn't see the 13Fs. But I will tell you this. Everything I'm seeing, everything I'm reading, when it comes to New York Community Bank, they are in trouble. They're hanging on by their fingernails, and they are not the only bank. They want us to think that the banking industry is doing well. The banking industry is not doing well, and I blame the SEC. Had the SEC been doing their job and reining in these bad actors for years, we wouldn't be in the financial situation we're in right now. After 2008, they implemented all these Dodd-Frank rules in order to control the fraud and corruption in the market. And what did they do? They paid the politicians to appoint people to these agencies who would not implement the rules. So rules that should have been in place since 2010, 14 years later, 2024, these rules are still not implemented. You know why? Because the only people who end up losing money is retail investors and pension funds. The big dogs break the rules, <laughs> do whatever they want, and when they make bad investment decisions, they say they're too big to fail, and taxpayer money bails them out. I hope we do not bail out New York Community Bank because they deserve to to go down. If they can't manage their money properly, they should not be in the banking industry as far as I'm concerned. Just my opinion. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think New York Community Bank is offering the biggest interest rate <laughs> in banking in the industry today because they want to look out for retail investors or because they're desperate for your cash? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.